It's May 22nd in Shanghai, and the Shanghai Tower is getting ready for completion later this year. The interior fit-out of levels 8 to 120 is underway, and the client hopes to have uh, tenants starting to move in in June, as early as June. There might be tenants moving into the building. That's not to say that the building's going to be open, just tenants could start fitting out their spaces. The client has their spaces already fitted out for leasing uh, on the 8th and the 10th floor, and there's a, um, there's a showroom on the 8th floor that has the original competition models, the, the 10 firms that produce designs for the project and then the winning design. Um, we've been taking some people on tours of the building for the last couple weeks as a uh, pre-opening kind of example of what's going on. So the building is on track from levels 8 to levels 120. Now uh, levels, I'm sorry, level 120 is a restaurant that needs to be fitted out. Level 121 and above to level 127 are all part of the observation experience and that's under construction. That's the last part of the top of the building to be completed. There's an outdoor observation deck on level 121 and there's some small pods that will be glass that stick out of the building that you can actually um, step out on and see the city. There's a tune mass dampener that you can actually go up and see. Now a tune mass dampener is a very interesting piece of equipment for a tall building. Tall buildings have to move, so you have to let the building move in the wind. In very high winds of a typhoon wind, a peak load wind is 53 meters a second or about 190 miles an hour. And that puts a lot of force on the building. So the building wants to move and be elastic. A tune mass damper at the top of a building actually reduces the sway of the building so the occupants don't feel it. So it's a comfort element at the top of the building. And this is basically just a big weight, a big, heavy, solid steel piece that actually sits on a pendulum that moves opposite the building in order to keep it from moving too quickly. Acceleration is the key issue in trying to dampen a tall building's movement. Um, that'll be part of the observation experience. That's on levels 125 up to 128. There's some big trusses up there and some cables that uh, hold this weight. Levels 119 and 118 are almost complete for the observation deck. They'll be serviced by the world's fastest elevator in 18 meters a second from level B2 to level 120. And you should be able to get there in less than a minute. But when you go down an elevator, we have to reduce the speed so people can actually comfort or people don't feel the pressure change too much. So you, you can go up at 18 meters a second, but you'd come down at about uh, 8 to 10 meters a second. So the top of the building is well underway and should be completed shortly. Now we get to the first five floors and the basement. Uh, B th B5 through B3 is parking, and B1 and B2 are below grade retail. And that's actually the main entry to the building. The main entry will be serviced by, I think, Line 12. There's a new subway stop built under IFC Mall and an underground connection at level B2. That will be the main entry of 90% of the people that use the building will be level B2 coming into the building and then escalating up through the retail mall and then coming into the office side of the building. Now we have three distinct populations in the building. There's the office population that exists from level 8 to I think level uh, 78 or thereabouts. Then there's a hotel population from level 82, 83 to 115. And then there's a retail population from 1 to 5. The retail population probably could be, if the mall is full, anywhere from uh, 3,000 to 5,000 people. Um, and that includes B1 and B2. The office population 
we estimate somewhere in the neighborhood of 16,000 people, and then the hotel population, including staff, might be anywhere from 1,000 to 1,300 people on a daily basis. Now, these are average numbers. The building is designed to fit a lot more from a safety standpoint. So the first five levels are being fitted out. The retail is being fitted out. The major ballrooms on level five, which should be coupled with the hotel on the upper part of the building, are being fitted out. The large ballroom is 1,500 square meters for uh, you can have a banquet in there for about seven to eight hundred people. Is being fitted out and looks great. There's an outdoor landscape garden adjacent to the large ballroom. Then you come in from the large ballroom on the north side is the kitchen. And then next to the kitchen is a large meeting room that we call the boardroom. And then there's a series of four large rooms underneath the tower that can be subdivided into smaller rooms. So there's a suite of conference facilities on level five. These can be used for a large conference coming into Shanghai and then break up spaces attached to it. And then on level two to three below the large ballroom, we have the large conference center, which is 2,200 square meters. You can have a banquet for uh, 1,200 people in there. Uh, you can have a cocktail party for 1,800, 2,000 people. You can have a, a cinema event for 1,500 to 1,800 people. So it's a large multi-purpose conference room on level two, and that's being fitted out. It has its own private pre-function that uh, faces west. And underneath the tower, the retail fills in the spaces on levels three and four for more shops and restaurants that can overlook the lobby space. And then, of course, the lobby for the office and the hotel is on levels one and two, since we're using double-decker elevators in the building.